What's up y'all? Welcome to Trad TV, the first video on the channel. I'm going to show y'all how I started a food trailer at 19 with under 5,000 cash. So my the inspiration into starting a food trailer, you know, is because I went to an event and there was probably maybe 2,000 people in line for a snow cone under a canopy. And um, the woman only had two flavors at $5 a cup. And um, we think she made like $10,000 that day. So um, that was our inspiration into starting the food trailer. But originally we started under a canopy. We probably only invested $200 in a machine, canopy, cooler, and some tables. We just started selling snow cones. I think we went out there and made, you know, a few thousand first week, maybe two weeks. And uh, we invested the money after two months and we bought a food trailer. But we started off, we bought the trailer, it was red. It wasn't wrapped. Getting it wrapped was an additional $1,500. So we started on a budget. We ended up being profitable at two months. So about getting the trailer, I actually found a deal, a good deal, a state away. I'm located in Charleston, South Carolina, but I went a state away and found a trailer for $4,300 at the time. I know prices have went up now ever since the pandemic. But we ended up getting a trailer for $4,300. We painted it inside ourselves. We had an electrician friend help do some work. It was originally red. We had it wrapped for $1,500 at a local uh, wrap and sign place called Charleston Wraps. So um, pretty, um, you know, low budget for a food truck. I know food trailers that I went out and spent, you know, forty, fifty thousand dollars to start theirs. But I suggest getting, you know, one and doing everything yourself. You'll end up saving thousands of dollars by doing it that way. And um, getting the wrap can also be very pricey. I know people that have spent $4,000 getting a trailer wrap. I suggest getting like six or seven estimates before you even get it wrapped. All right, and next up is about the licensing. Um, our um, rules in Charleston, South Carolina are pretty lenient with our DHEC and our health inspection rules. So uh, we actually got approved online within a day. And um, all we had to do was get a retail tax license in South Carolina. We got a business license for the city of Charleston. And um, we got a federal tax ID number. You can get that through your bank or you can register online for free. So, um, and then the next step was creating a logo. We already knew our name. The logo actually, uh, the wrap place, it's called Charleston Wrap. They helped design the logo and the whole wrap for the $1,500 price point. So that helped us out too. And make sure you get, you know, the patent and the trademarks for the uh, logo so nobody else can steal your idea. So, um, and you can actually file a trademark and patent online. I think it's only $200. You don't need to go through a lawyer or anything. You can do it yourself. So, um, and then our uh, laws are pretty lenient. You know, you gotta have wipeable flooring and you know, you have to be clean and whatnot, but uh, they're not too strict and you can all get approved online or over the phone. You don't have to do anything extra. It, it varies per state and per health department, but in our situation in South Carolina, it was pretty lenient. So um, we got that done. Uh, I probably spent less than 500 total in that whole licensing uh, and uh, you know process. All right, and the next step is uh, the advertising. It's important to you know get involved in your community, create a Facebook, Instagram business, all that under your business name, and um, talk to the other food trucks. They'll give you into events. They'll get you into places that you didn't think you could get into. So um, aim for the biggest events, the most uh, largest attendance. Don't go to small events. Don't sell yourself short. Try to do private events. You know, weddings. Uh, reunions, high school parties, anything you can think of, be there. Basketball games, football games, soccer games, little league games, and uh, put yourself everywhere. Create business cards, run Facebook advertising, Instagram advertising, uh, do birthday parties, everything. So uh, this, is actually, this is our logo, Snow Blast. Like I said, that was a part of the $1,500 trailer wrap fee. They helped design our logo, and as you can see, we did the whole wrap, all sides for 1,500 total, which is actually a very good deal. I know people have spent $4,000, $5,000, but you don't need to do that. Um, I'm really happy the way our wrap came out. 
we got it on about a year and a half ago and it still held up perfectly and i suggest getting trailer wrap insurance under your trailer insurance it's only like 18 dollars a month and if anybody scratches it or damages it they'll pay you for it so this is our whole wrap so another thing with the wrap i suggest getting your phone number email facebook insta all your contact information on all sides so we have right here the phone number so while you're driving you're a walking billboard everybody's going to see and call your number i mean when I go to an event and come back, people are already calling me on the way back from an event because it's your numbers for everywhere. Get it everywhere you can. So we go inside, you'll see the window pops open just like this, and you're ready for business. Make sure everything's secure, you know, screwed to the wall. So while you're driving, nothing's moving around or anything like that. And um, another thing I suggest, see we buy in bulk, the bottles, these actually, we get them in gallons like this. And we break them down into bottles, you'll end up saving a lot of money. We can get a gallon for like $9 when we buy in bulk, but retail is like $25 a gallon. So, um, and then we also get the cups at a local supply store called Restaurant Depot. You might have a restaurant supply store in your area, you have to look it up. And you might have to get a membership, but I suggest going to Sam's, Costco, and any other restaurant supply store so you can end up saving money when you buy. And another thing I suggest, selling like drinks, you know, anything. So we also sell cotton candy. We'll sell this at $3 each, and we're buying the whole thing for $7. So once you sell two of these, you're profitable for the rest. It's just another thing to, you know, make money. While we're selling snow cones, we also sell lemonade. We're selling water, canned soda, we'll even sell honey buns, anything for extra revenue while you're selling your main, you know, main things. So another important part about, you know, the food truck and food trailer is the generator. You can't do nothing without power. So this is a 2000 watt generator. You can get 3000 watt, 4000 watt, you can go, you know, up to 10,000 watts. This is actually, you know, a pretty good and efficient generator. It's from Harbor Freight. It was only $400 brand new. We've had it for a year, no problem. It has, a, I think, a three-year warranty. So if anything happens, you can return it. And it's, it's pretty simple. You just turn it on. Let's pull this out. Now you plug it in like this. Regular cord. And boom, you got power. Make sure this is plugged in. Then we go in, turn the lights on. Now everything in here will run, you know, up to 2,000 watts. Now if you had a 4,000 watt generator, you could run anything in here up to 4,000 watts. So it's a pretty simple process with the generator. Don't spend too much on it, but it's important. So I'll show you all how to make a cone real quick. This is the way we do it. Pour it in here. Put the top on. Then you can uh, adjust how fine you want the ice shaved. So. We'll do half cherry, half blue. And then we do blue. And then just like that, you got the snow cone. So other food truck tips um, I wanna share with y'all. I suggest using Square for your car services. It's a low you know fee and it's very user friendly and i suggest uh, aiming for large events go where the crowd is don't go to an event with you know nobody's at because you ain't gonna get no sales so aim for large crowds and um, do concerts festivals anything put your name in it uh, reach out to promoters event managers call anybody you can to get into these events 
because that's going to be crucial for sales. So, um, and then our sales, we charge like usually three and four, three dollars for a small, four dollars for a large on snow cones, dollar drinks, stuff like that. But you can go up and down depending on the event. It's so like for an example, a concert, you can't leave the venue. So whatever you charge, they got to pay. So um, like maybe go up to two dollars on your drinks, maybe go up a dollar on snow cones, whatever you know, for, so for you to hit your sales. So, um, and then uh, like projections for us, we're projecting like 70,000 in sales this year. Like I said, we were profitable in our first two months after buying the trailer. We probably put, you know, five to 6,000 into it. And we made that within one to two months, you know. And uh, it was a rocky road at first, but uh, we became friends with so many food truck people and people in the industry. So we got our name into a lot of big events early on and that helped us. Like for an example, we did a Riley Green concert at the Hanahan Amphitheater and it had about four to 5,000, you know, expected attendance. And we did like $3,000 in sale in just that one day. So that almost paid for the whole trailer in one event. So you're not gonna get many opportunities like that, but you at least can get one a month, which will boost your sales, you know, incredibly. But um, then another thing, like some food trucks, you know, I know a person who just does corn dogs, hamburgers and french fries. I mean, they're making two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars a year, some food trucks I know. So I mean, you can, I mean, if you hustle hard enough and you know, put yourself into this a hundred percent, you can make a crazy amount of money quick. But um, you know, you gotta do the, the steps to get there. So, um, and then with the, another thing about taxes, I suggest keeping all your receipts, you know, budget, and uh, keep a total of how much you're spending and how much you're making. So the square with the card, the card reader, your uh, numbers are already, you know, reported and they'll send you a 1099 form. And uh, so I suggest, you know, filing obviously every year and keep your receipts and uh, keep that all in a safe place. So you know, you know, you don't get caught up. And um, so no taxes, no the laws, no everything. You know, go get that money and um, become your own boss. You know, it allows you to do a lot more stuff and you're working for yourself. So if you work 10 times harder this month, you can take a trip next month. You can, you know, create your own dates, do whatever you want. So um, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Our links to follow us on social media will be in the description below. And uh, leave a comment and we'll try to answer you, you know, our best ability. And look forward to uh, more posts coming soon about food truck industry and more about snow blast. So follow us. Thanks for watching. We out.